It's just an honor to have all of you here. Of course, you, Oprah. For me, this is a full circle. Because the, the last interview I did with Miss, I call her Mama O, okay. was when I did the Dream Girls cast interview wow, with wow. you on the Oprah show. Wow. It blows and my mind. And look at you now! Oh, yeah. But this ain't about me! <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Now, Oprah, we want to get into this because we don't have a lot of time and we have too many icons right here and y'all screamed us down. So, <laughs> tell us, where, how did you come up with the idea to recreate the color purple in this way? It wasn't my idea. It was Scott Sanders who first had the idea to take it to Broadway. I couldn't imagine turning The Color Purple into a musical, mm. having done the original back in 1985. But Scott Sanders had the vision to do that. I then joined that production on Broadway. And when Scott said we should make it a movie, I was like, how are we going to do that, Scott? <laughs> and now we did it because Steven Spielberg, who yes. had the rights to the original, um, when I called him and said, we want to do this now, he said yes. And it is a reimagined. So everybody I know has your own ideas about what the color purple is, and you love it. So do I, we love the original. It. We do. So do yes, I. Yes, we do. And this is, you know what? Someone, Edward Innenfull, who uh, runs Vogue, said to me the other day that it's like visiting an old friend in a mm. new space. Ooh. Mm. And that's Nicely exactly said. what happens. It's like Nicely. visiting an old friend in a new space, and you will be renewed and feel joyful. I will have to say there's a buoyancy and a joyful joyfulness to this reimagination that wasn't present in the first, mm. and that the music comes out of the spirit of the story. People aren't just singing to be singing. Mm -hmm. It comes out of the soulfulness of the story that's being told. And it has been my great, great, deep honor and pleasure to be able to work with you. Yes! <laughs> I mean, the color purple meant so much to me in my life, and to be able to see them have this moment is just one of the great rewards of I need my to some life. Tissue over. Yes. Hold the light. Yes. Here you go. Right. I understand go. that every emotion. Mm -hmm. While yeah, I'm passing you. this tissue to yes. all of you fabulous yes. ladies, yes. Cooper, what is it like seeing Danielle interpretation of Sophia? Oh, it's the best thing ever. Oh. You know, I wanted to be there. Specifically on the day that she did the iconic scene for me of, you know, you told Harpo to beat me. Yes. And I was, you know, w sitting right with Blitz as she was filming that. And afterwards, we gave a big hug and I said, the baton is mm -hmm. officially Turn the out. torch to you! And you deserve that torch, baby! Uh, <laughs> did she you did it. She made it her own. You know, she made it her yes. own. Yeah. She made it her thank own. Thank you. Thank you so much. What was your preparation process? Did you consult with Oprah? Oh, yes. That's one of the first calls I made. I asked Scott Sanders, our producers, I said, do you think she'd mind talking to me? Because I was so shy when we did it in 2015 to go to you. Because mm. I just didn't want you to think I wanted anything from you. I was just so nervous. But this time I was like, I got to call this woman. <laughs> and I did, and we talked for like a long time. Uh -huh. And she shared stories with me and gave me encouragement and advice. And she prayed over me. Y'all, you know when Oprah pray over you. All right. Yeah. She got a direct line to God. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna be all right? Um, but yeah, so I'm very grateful she held my hand through this entire process, but also, you know, let me fly and do my own thing. And I'm just so appreciative of the way you handled me during this process. Oh, Thank baby you. Girl. It Thank paid you. off. Thank you. It paid off. Hello to everyone here tonight, and in particular, my new best friend, Fantasia, over there. <laughs> the shout out is for me. Yeah, Oprah, what happened? I, had, I had introduced, I was <laughs> there to introduce Fantasia at the Variety Women, and I saw her, and she was so, started out, and she was just so moving with her comments about where she's been in life. And then she sees Leonardo, and I was like, focus, 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 focus. On our way off stage, she was pulling me like, let's go. Well, come on, let's go. Keep the focus, keep the focus. Now, Oprah, I have to ask you, what was it like seeing that scene and you portraying that scene? Get oh, me? back in 1985, mm. we also shot for three days that scene. Mm. And, you know, you start out with a big dinner table. By the third day, the peas are going rancid. I could smell them. <laughs> Y'all need to change these peas out of here. Mm -hmm. But it was the day that I most remember that I became an actress. Mm -hmm. Because I had sat there 
for three days, just literally rocking in the chair mm. and giving myself over to the character. Mm. And I was the last person shot at the table wow. of the three days. And mm. I only had one line yeah. and ended up <laughs> ad-libbing the other line. So I had one line where Harpo says, how you feel and how you doing, Miss Sophia? Mm. And I said, doing all right. And then I continued to rock and Stephen said, tell us how you felt when you saw Miss Seeley in the store. Mm. And I just started to ad lib wow. when I seen you in that wow. store, Miss mm. Seeley, that day. Da, 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 da. Wow. And so that, I remember that wow. as the day. Wow. I, oh, that's the day. Wow. Thank you for sharing that with us. Come on. Wow. Did you share any of that? Did yes. you pull from any of that? I was moved. Oh, wow. I was moved. And there was moments that we were looking to cut certain things and we were, you know, doing table work. And I just kept telling Blitz, we have to keep this part in. Yeah. We have to mm -hmm. really to, of course, give reverence to Sophia, but to also honor that moment right. that you found. Yeah. Yes. That is so, that's the rebirth of yeah. Sophia. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like that's legacy. Everybody need to know that, yes. you know? Beautiful. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. so important. It's a yeah. part of us yeah. all. I just want to say that, you know, you're on a lot of sets, so you have a lot of working environments where people do their scene and then they're gone and that there's no contact. I mean, the sisterhood, the camaraderie, the love that you see here, mm -hmm. it's real. It Behind shows. the scenes, in everything that we've done, the support for one another is so real and that comes through on the screen. Mm -hmm. When you see it Christmas Day, you'll see Very it. right. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.